here's me thinking I had the persona of being a, a tactical... <laughs> what on earth? Here's me thinking I've been, I have the persona of being a tactical musician. Muse, musician. It's not a musician. I play guitar, but... Here's me thinking that I'm a tactical ta tactician. <laughs> oh god, it's gonna be a long one this one. Here's me thinking I have the persona of being a tactical tactician when it comes to giving out information on the battlefield. And all that guy says is... What did he say? <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> I can't remember what he said now. <laughs> Anyway guys, on with the show and this is my next video which is all about the AK-12 which is a Russian assault rifle of the Kalashnikov range and uh, basically I haven't got Wikimedia up <laughs> That's basically I've not got Wikimedia up This is what I'm at. this is how hard editing is for me guys or talking is for me I really struggle <laughs> This is why it takes me a week to get a five minute video up and um, I'm just showing you how, how I struggle. <laughs> Not everybody must do this, I don't, I don't think most people actually do this but me being with information going in one ear and straight out of the other, I, I don't process information quite as easy as anybody else I think. So. Um, yeah, this is this is this is video basically of, of me um, trying to get across how shit I am at <laughs> making videos. Right, let's try it again. Um, right, okay. Which actually came into play in 2012, but well kinda well Russia basically wanted it for the Russian army they, they had a look at it and thought quite like this weapon it looks pretty good then they passed it over in 2013 probably for something better more like uh, maybe an MP5 or something uh, it's obviously not an assault rifle but uh, there you go um, and it was announced in December 2014 that it had passed all the state tests and now it's being re-evaluated for the Russian army. It's probably actually in, in, in working, working. <laughs> oh God. Which actually came into play in 2012 and then by some unknown um, problem, basically the Russian military passed over this uh, this weapon in 2013 and then it was decided in December 2014 that they had passed all the state tests and it, the evaluation of the Russian army decided to think well I quite like this machine gun I'm going to have it uh, and then now present day 2014 it's on the battlefield which actually came into play in 2012 but the uh, the Russian Empire didn't know whether to actually um, keep the weapon <laughs> the Russian Empire <laughs> It was produced in 2012, but was overlooked by the Russian army until December the 14th. <laughs> December the 14th, <laughs> a precise date. It was produced in 2012, but it was overlooked by the Russian army, and uh, it wasn't until December 2014 where tests have been carried out, out and evaluated, and is now used by said army. <laughs> Now, onto the magazine, not clip that I've said in previous ve vehicles. <laughs> now, onto the magazine, not clip, like I said in previous videos. Um, I got a right old royal telling off of uh, Rick, who is the Medis Viking, who I follow on his YouTube channel. I'll put a link below for you guys to go and check it out. He does some uh, some good videos, guys. Uh, but yeah, he was in the American Army and he explained that it ain't, it ain't a clip. It's not a clip, it's, that's, that's TV stuff, that. that is just complete TV stuff and it is actually either a magazine or a cartridge. So from now on, I ain't making that mistake again. 
the assault rifle actually fires 5.56 NATO rounds or 7.62 NATO rounds there again and also 12 gauge now I don't know what that is is that some sort of like well I know it's a shotgun I know it's a shotgun but I don't know what it's got to do with this this weapon to be honest with you <laughs> oh god